Hi everybody, I hope you guys are having a good day today. I wanted to make a video for um, my YouTube channel about Daisy's Cage, where I got everything from, and you know, get to know Daisy, and get to know a little bit about me as well, and show you where I got everything from, and yeah, so let's get started. Right now, she is living in a bunny cage. As you can see, it is pretty humongous for her. And I have the sides taped up because she could get out. She could climb out from the floor. And I had that tube inside. Inside, I had that tube in the corner. And she liked to climb out, so I had to tape them all up. Because she's, lately, she's been trying to get out. And I think it's a sign that I need to be taking her out more. But, yeah, I use regular Aspen bedding. I got it from Walmart, a whole bag full of Aspen for like $5, I think. So let's get started with the stuff that's inside. And you guys get to see Daisy of her everyday life, you know, just in her furniture and everything in her house. Daisy, the robo hamster, three months old. So yeah, let's get started with the wheel. The wheel, it is kind of dirty right now because I have to clean it because she likes to get inside it, run, and pee at the same time. Which is a little bit weird because she's the first hamster that I've had that has done that. But, yeah, I have to clean it every other day and today's cleaning day. So, I wanted to do a video before I did that to show you how it usually is. You <laughs> see? As you can see, she's enjoying that. <laughs> the flower next to her wheel is a fake flower that I got from the 99 cent store. Yeah, she likes to sit on it and chew on it. And yeah, she, I think she likes to eat on it too. I got this little piggy Heidi house from the 99 cent store as well. I thought it was, you know, it was going to be cool. It's actually had a loafa inside it it was for the shower but you know it looked like a little house it's perfect you know DIY hamster house and I got I got this water bottle from PetSmart as well she likes to drink a lot of water which is weird too because she's the first hamster that has done that too and I've had a hamster before and it's kind of weird because he never drank that much water. She'll drink this whole bottle of water within two days. She's something else. <laughs> but yeah, there she is. This is her little tube. She, I bought this from the swap meet for three dollars. It was a whole like circle, and I only put two two inside there because you know it's, she doesn't need that many, and she likes to use it to climb out for some reason. I don't know. She has her hermit crab, which I think is like her potty area, because she likes to poop right there, as you can see. It's a hermit crab house, but I used it as her house because her cage has a natural theme to it. Well, I'm trying to make a natural theme to it. It has some plastic areas and colorful, but, you know, I'm trying to make it more natural as I can. And I have some cotton balls and cotton pads in there. That she likes to use, you know, to keep her warm. And I also have it in the pig house as well. She likes to use it to be warm and to cuddle inside there. I have this chew toy that I got from PetSmart. I have it, um, I have it attached to the cage on top because it is too short. So I use the little plastic thingies to keep it, make it lower. It is right under, right on top of the bendy bridge. I believe it is a size small. I got it from PetSmart. She likes to climb on it to play with her toy or to chew on it, which is interesting. But yeah, that's what it's for, you know. Um, she has her food dish, which is a hermit crab food dish. I feed her regular um, gerbil and hamster food. It has corn sunflower seeds and some other stuff that I can't remember right now but yeah she has this rock right here that she likes to 
like scratch her nails on to keep her nails down so she doesn't have really look at her trying to get on look at her so she doesn't have really long nails you know it's it's better for her over here I have a little toilet paper tube which I use that to take her out because she doesn't like when people stick their hands inside her house so you know for my safety I put the tube inside there so she can't bite me she'll just walk in and I'll just pick out the tube and yeah that's how I take her out she also has a a shell over here which you can't really see because it's full of bedding she has a shell and she likes to chew on it to keep her teeth down she likes to chew on it let me show you Ooh, <laughs> girl you see she likes to chew on it to keep her teeth down I hear that all night like tick, 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 tick. <laughs> it's pretty funny but yeah I just want to show you guys that you know Daisy's house tour and yeah she yeah say bye Daisy we'll talk to you guys next time in the next video Bye.